Another good question that I get asked is what's the difference between an endocrine surgeon and going to your local surgeon who knows how to do a thyroid or a parathyroid surgery? I would say that it's pretty uncommon that the average surgeon knows how to do excellent parathyroid surgery. Um, with thyroid surgery, there's a, it's a little bit more forgiving and the number to be considered high volume is anywhere between 25 and 50 a year. Still that being said, I would go to an endocrine surgeon if it were me or my family. There's specialty training in endocrine surgery where you do only thyroid and parathyroid surgery. And then afterwards, they usually maintain a high volume of those cases. Now high volume comes with lots of experience, right? And as they gain that experience, complication rates go down. So the best published data, usually in thyroid and parathyroid surgery, relates to high volume surgeons, 25, 50 cases a year. Realistically, high volume thyroid, parathyroid surgeons are doing five or 10 times that a year. And because of that, the complication rates are fractions of what they are in the published literature. I think your best bet is to go with a thyroid or parathyroid surgeon who's trained and does it full time. Somebody who dabbles in thyroid surgery or likes to do it, it's potentially risky. With parathyroid surgery, that's certainly a recipe for failure. I know I'm gonna create a lot of enemies with that statement, but I firmly believe that parathyroid surgery should be done by people who are very experienced and do a lot of it. It can be tricky and it can be nuanced. When you find a parathyroid adenoma on imaging, say a left inferior parathyroid adenoma that's found on ultrasound and nuclear medicine, that's a chip shot. Any decent surgeon, any decent surgeon can get that out. No big deal. Maybe your recurrent laryngeal nerve be at risk, but otherwise it's a pretty easy surgery for them. What you need endocrine surgery for is for when that 20% of cases where it's not the only gland. And that's where you'll be glad you had one of them in your corner. What you don't want to do is be woken up to be told that you weren't fully cured and you have to go back for a second operation. And that second operation is more difficult because of scar tissue and previous technique and issues in the neck. So now everything's at risk. It's much better to do it right the first time and be done with it.